millions of viewers is that see to it that you make the best of these 10 nights my recommendation is that if you are going to work take leave if you have holiday save the holiday for these 10 nights it's worth it imagine if you get that night it's equal to your full life so my recommendation is take leave and now alhamdulillah it's an advantage that most of the world today is in a lockdown so they're already forced to stay at home so now at least you have no excuse for not doing ibadah on these 10 nights and the most important ibadah as the hadith says is salah that you pay salah qiyamul layl besides your maghrib and the isha salah in the night of night of the last 10 nights you do qiyamul layl when we do immediately after isha people call it tarawi tarawi means resting but the right word is qiyamul layl and in harmain alhamdulillah where i spend the past 20 years most of the years i spent of ramadan and the last 10 nights in makkah last 10 nights always alhamdulillah except for the last two years always in makkah but unfortunately this time we cannot so best is qiyamul layl and in makkah in harmain last 10 nights they have one more qiyamul layl before before the fajr salah maybe they start two hours to three hours before fajr salah and they end it three hours before just and they end it one hour before the before the dawn so that is the best time because last one third night is the best part of the night for you to pray to do dua to ask for forgiveness so the best act you can do during this time is pray qiyamul layl and see to it that the recitation of the quran is long so you're also reciting the quran doing zikr in the sujood in qiyamul layl see to it that the sajda is long and do as much as dua you can do in sajda because the best part of salah where you can supplicate to ask dua you can ask in your own language in any language is when you are doing sajda in prostration it is the best time to ask from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so in qiyamul layl see the qiyam is long see the sajda are long the ruku is long do dua in sajda and preferably you can have the Qiyamul Layl immediately after Isha and again you know two hours before Fajr or as long as you can number one is Salah number two is supplication and the best dua as I mentioned is Allahumma innaka afwun to hibbul afwa fafwani that O oh Allah you are the one who forgive you love to forgive so forgive me so this is the most important dua and do as many times as you can hundreds of times thousands of times this is the best dua Number three is repentance, asking for forgiveness. All the sins that we do, all of us do, ask for forgiveness. This is a night of forgiveness and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive all your past sins inshallah. Then you can do zikr as much as you can. While you supplicate, all the supplication, you can ask the smallest thing, even a shoelace from Allah, you can ask the biggest thing, you can ask a mountain of gold from Allah. You can ask a small thing or a big thing, there is nothing that you can feel afraid to ask from Allah anything small thing or big thing you can make a list of all the duas because at the last moment you may not remember what to do all your desires that are valid that are good do it ask Allah to stop all your evil increase your good deeds decrease your evil stop from doing any haram act if you're doing and this is the best time make a list and do dua ask for forgiveness do zikr as much as you can Recite the Quran as much as you can. Besides in Qiyam Mullah, you can recite the Quran, it will get you blessing. Give charity as much as you can. Besides your fard zakah, give additional charity. And if you decide to give uh, $1,000, see to it to give it in the last 10 nights. Instead of giving in one night, I would advise you, give $100 every night. You don't, you don't know when is the Laytul Qadr. So every night, if you divide the 10, 10%, percent hundred hundred dollar each night the chances that will get the less look other is more and once you get it the sawab is multiple times inshallah today is the 19th fast for most part of the world in the indian subcontinent and other parts of the world it is 18th fast inshallah tomorrow night the last 10 nights will start for those in the indian subcontinent and uh, and other parts of the world it will start day after tomorrow night Prepare for yourself, mentally be prepared, psychologically be pre prepared, 
as it's locked down you're at home if you're not at home apply for leave take leave and make the best of it you can't afford to even waste a single minute not even a second one sec one minute loss is 41 days lost one hour lost is 6.73 solar years lost one night gone is full life gone 80.77 solar years gone so my request is please catch this night of light through qadar don't waste a single hour not a minute not even a second plan it if you fail to plan you plan to fail inshallah now we'll proceed to the second part of this program that is the open question and answer session and let me remind you before i again repeat the whatsapp number that alhamdulillah every session the backlog is increasing on an average more than 25000 questions are coming every session the last session that we ended i think it was 125 so on average there are about 30000 questions 25000 only on the only on on the facebook then more than 5000 question on the whatsapp then on the instagram on average 30000 till the last fifth session there were about 125000 questions pending which were not answered and i'd like to thank all the viewers and all the people who have sent messages to me they have said salams to me wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and that done dua for me may allah accept all your dua that you have done for me may allah subhanahu wa taala not hold me responsible for what you think about me may allah forgive you for what you don't know about me and may allah make me better than what you think of me two nights before i picked up a question that was an answered and i dialed and i made a whatsapp call in the night day for yesterday and i made a call to dr naibul from kashmir and when i called i think he was resting i gave, i made a video whatsapp call and he was shocked he could not believe he was in tears he called his father he called his mother he called his two sisters and all of them were in front of his camera and i spoke for a few minutes they gave me salams i returned the salam they gave me dua that did dua for them also and it was a wonderful experience the few minutes that we spoke to each other i felt as though i was in kashmir last i visited kashmir was in 2003 and my heart aches for kashmir and i prayed to allah subhanahu wa taala that may he solve all the problems of the people of kashmir and make them come close to allah believe me let me tell you one thing my dear brothers and sisters of kashmir whatever atrocities that are being put on you the moment every hurdle he faces every atrocity that he comes across every calamity that he comes across it is a benefit for him his sins are being forgiven he, it gets him closer to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as long as you have faith in allah and you believe this is the qadr of allah what happened to you and what's happening to you has already been destined by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it has been destined so what you should say alhamdulillah if this is the qadr you take it in the right spirit thank allah for it it could have been worst and believe me inshallah i pray to allah that we meet all of us in jannat al-firdaus anyone whose question aren't answered today don't be shocked if you receive a call from me today on the next couple of days before the next session you can mention your question any of the social media but the best is on the whatsapp text your question in brief mentioning your name the city and the country of residence to whatsapp number plus 60112695385 i repeat double uh, i repeat plus 60112695385 and now we start the open question and session we have more than an hour and inshallah we'll answer as many as we can the first question selected by my team and as i mentioned earlier we have a team of people selecting the question because imagine how can you handle 
25 or 30,000 questions. It's difficult. Not, I'm not promising that they have read all the questions before they select. As many as they keep on reading, they keep on selecting and sending to me. The first question is Rahul Sharma from Mumbai, India. And he writes, in Islam, if Allah writes in the destiny of a person that he will commit murder, he will rob and he will cheat. The person according to the destiny written by Allah 